All right, so back to recording. There is no negative feedback on this, so it does shouldn't matter in theory. But I think there is still potentially some potential for weird phase problems that I have heard of. Um, so just to be safe, I'm going to cut them both as if they were connecting to this pin here. And then that way I will have the room to adjust as needed, but... So we now have the two power leads that will connect into the power line. We have, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to hook up. I think we can put the board in. So I'm not gonna let you watch me futz with putting the board in. We now have everything hooked up except what connects the board to the chassis, uh, to the different you know spots. So stop recording for a bit. I'm gonna get the board in and then we'll come back when I'm ready to start connecting everything up. Okay, so. It just goes to show you when things adapt, you adapt, but sometimes that doesn't help a ton. Uh, because I've put this new transformer in, I'm trying to put the line the board and it doesn't align with my holes anymore because it's supposed to be basically about here. So I'm gonna have to re-drill all my holes and move my board that way more. There's room for it. It's not the end of the world. It's just a bit annoying to have drilled all those holes, had them all set and now not be able to use them. So. I'm going to have to adjust that, but we'll get that done as well. And I'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, so I've got it in, but the problem now is one of the things I try and check before I do anything else is to see if for some reason I'm grounding something that shouldn't be grounded. So you want to go and kind of connect everything. Right now, the only thing that I think is potentially okay is because this ground is also very near this ground, we may be touching this somehow. So I'm getting a little bit of grounding right here, but that is supposed to be grounded anyway, and I will double confirm the ground by connecting this. But I don't want it anywhere else, and I, I'm not getting one here. That little beep initially is, I think, because the capacitor is kind of charging and seems to ground, but once it kind of starts charging, it stops. Um, but I started probing around, just touching anything and everything to make sure that nothing's grounding that shouldn't be, and I got this. I don't know why. Although this could also be a capacitor kind of charging up. I don't know. But it also connects through to a jumper to here. And none of these should be grounded. So I don't know. I'm going to have to, now that I've got it in, I did, did adjust its fits, as you can see. I'm going to have to basically pull the board again and look at the junctions around here. It is possible that I just didn't, I, I forgot to snip a little lead on one of these points. And it's touching but I can't get a finger under there enough now that it's tightened down to do so, so I'll be pulling it back out. So, but All right, everybody, so I found the problem. If you look right here, this was underneath, the screw hole was here, and my this guy is pushing against it really hard and has broken through the sheathing. So uh, I will have to desolder this wire, and then I will kind of bring it in a way that puts it over away from that hole, and we should be back in business. So um, let's go ahead and do that right now. Double check I didn't do anything bad there. All right, we're still good. So now I will cut another short piece to the fit that. And this is such a short bit, I am going to use my new purple wire. I ran out of blue, I got some more blue, but I also got some purple, so.
Now I want to kind of fill that back in, but it'll probably pop out, but that's okay. At least I can get some back fill in it and then put it back in carefully. And I'll possibly turn it back over again, bend a little, and then make sure those fall back down into the hole a little bit. So I'll let that cool off there. And this side looks pretty clean, but that side, you can see, I will cut that away after I, oops, there went my solder base. Now that I've been able to bend that down a little bit, touch this up lightly. flow this hole a little bit as well just to make sure we get fresh solder from the top side there we go we'll let that cool while we test our continuity across it we'll put it back in so i will test that offline because you guys probably don't want to watch that boring process all right so i've resoldered it as you saw i've put this back in again and I'm not getting any grounding. So again, it's always good to check and double check. I'm looking for anything, right? So I touch the chassis, continuity, nothing else. We're not shorting anything else out. But we still wanna make sure we have continuity, for example, between the jumpers that I just put in. So we now are gonna check from here to here. And as I've mentioned before, if you notice, I am not putting my pointer right here on the exact, oh, you're probably blocked, but I'll put it here. I'm not putting it right on this because there tends to be flux on it. And it also could mean sometimes if you put pressure on a socket like this, you'll create a pressure enough that will cause the connection anyway, but I also, you'll be fighting that there'll be flux on the top. I like to touch the lead like this. And then you should get your continuity. Oh, I'm on the wrong ones. Um, so you can touch inside of here, but you don't, you have to kind of break through the crust that gets on these. But if I touch the leads, I'm getting kind of weird. There we go, if I put a little pressure. Um, so you also are testing two things. One, you're not in an area where there's crusty flux sitting in the way, but two, you can kind of see I'm getting a lot of flux crusting off of that. I'm gonna to have to rinse these off a little bit, but two is you're also not gonna have any um, problems with um, the connection actually not being well soldered because I've proven the solder is not the connection specifically, but instead that the other, the, the main part is. So another thing I'm gonna try and do right now is clean a little bit of that flux off because I did that. I've got a little denatured alcohol and I just kind of try and scrub around the area to clean off that extra flux. So, and then you just let that air dry and you're good to go. So, um, so basically I am ready and I'm gonna do this another day, uh, but I am ready now to start connecting these. So I'll go ahead and look at the layout and connect all of these different pins to the different locations where they belong. And by the time I'm done doing that, we should have a completed amp and then we'll be able to test it out. So there you have it, everybody. Let me know what you think. Uh, please post some information in the comments below. Tell me uh, if there's anything else you want me to see me doing or things that I'm doing wrong. And uh, please subscribe. Uh, and also, if you want to, you can support me on Patreon. I have it as patreon.com slash Frenchyfilms. I'll post that here. Um, because these do cost me a decent amount of money, I'm, you know, doing it because of my, I'm having fun doing it and enjoying it. And I think that people enjoy seeing some of this as well. I love amps. I love playing the guitar. Um, and so please uh, do support us. Thanks.